Hi, welcome to walkinto.in demo videos. So in this uh, video I am going to show you how to um, uh, use this uh, use our website to create awesome uh, virtual tools and publish it to your uh, uh, your people. So I uh, can log into the walkinto.in uh, the only login mechanism that walkinto.in allows is the Google login. So uh, with your Gmail uh, login or with your uh, Google Apps login you will be able to get into the website and uh, clicking on the add new uh, will create a tool for you. Tool comes in the default uh, view where without any um, menu items without any view yet selected. So I am creating a Ducati uh, museum which is a uh, very nice museum I'm, I really love that. So I can search for that. So this is great. It's a map search. I directly search and uh, there you go. I can uh, see it in the drop down. The map is loaded as well as like I can um, see on a pop up um, uh, a, a basic view. So what I've done here is I enabled uh, a, the uh, street view overlay icon here which uh, brings up uh, uh, complete street views that are available there including uh, the sea insides which comes in orange uh, color uh, I can load that up load that view up and from this editor view I can click on this uh, camera on the right top uh, to ca start capturing um, snapshots of shortlist So here as I am uh, navigating along, I am uh, um, uh, capturing more and more shortlist items which I will be uh, later using uh, in my menu structure creation. So far I have captured uh, four shortlist items that you can see here and as I keep capturing more the number on the right top uh, increases uh, to show me how many I have captured right now and um, there is no limit to it. Uh, it wouldn't be nice to put a limit to that right. There you go this is standard street view controls we haven't um, done any changes to that part that's all the hard work that uh, Google team has put in there trophies I would like to capture some trophies wow those are some vintage bikes very nice awesome I mean these are places that kind of gives you goosebumps see it uh, you can see that how Ducati has progressed from a uh, traditional company uh, with uh, making single cylinder engines in the past uh, to the current monster bikes that they are making so here I started making the uh, menu structure so uh, here this is my first panel I am going to face this uh, storefront and uh, adding uh, new menu items is as simple as clicking on the add menu button and uh, uh, adjusting the panel uh, panorama to the exactly the way in, in which I would like the user to see it the viewer to see, see it um, then clicking on save <coughs> You can create any um, level uh, or deep uh, submenus uh, to structure your navigation in the most appropriate way. Here I am uh, creating a structure based on uh, the, the era and uh, I had earlier picked up uh, some uh, views from that exact era and I can navigate over there using my shortlist carousel. There you go. The view loads and adjust the viewport exactly the to the way I want 
and go back to the editor and uh, click on save and I have a menu created <coughs> similarly I can create um, uh, more menu structures which is uh, more meaningful uh, and relevant there you go second panel it is uh, seventh one in a list of eight save that I'm traveling through bikes of the decades Yeah, I'm, I'm, I keep creating menus. I, I love this place. Sorry about it. It's, it's a long video. There you go. Almost there. Please bear with me, like last few menu items. Remember I captured these trophies earlier, yeah, there you go, I saved the awards. See the um, uh, shortlist carousel is an extremely uh, useful tool, um, uh, as you have seen how it easy it was for me to collect a bunch of um, items uh, from different parts of the panorama and uh, now I am using that uh, to uh, to create the navigation menus and that's a preview tool on the right I click on which and uh, it will load up the tour in a preview mode this is exactly the user is going to see and uh, that's my name there uh, to name to description the menu that I have just created the home button on the right top it will take you the first panel that I have set so that's a landing panel and if the user has navigated off to another menu item you can always click on that home button to get to the initial landing page and uh, there you can collapse out the menu by clicking on the three parallel lines on the left top the navigation we currently have a uh, default uh, panorama uh, that kind of pans uh, to exactly the view in which the you had defined um, uh, the user to be looking at and uh, this is very nice and it loads very nicely in mobile viewer as well as um, on desktop and uh, you can uh, use this share button to share it to uh, Google Plus. <coughs> so s here, what you see is a default view, um, and uh, I would ideally wouldn't like to use that. I would like to have a very nice uh, landing page created uh, for my social sharing. But I can use that very uh, nifty tool called uh, Postcard Creator. So here, I click the snap uh, the way I would like uh, it to have. <coughs> it's a camera animation I turn the viewport exactly the way I want and uh, I click the uh, click out the uh, a snap of the view that I would like to use yeah there you go it's capture and here I have the option of editing out the title or editing out the description to uh, more appropriate form so which is highly recommended because this is exactly how the tour is going to look like on a social feed and uh, you really want people to click on that when they, when they see that that should be uh, worth a million there you go it's done it's, uh, it's already saved now if I go back to my uh, viewer And now uh, when I do a share, 
uh, the the new settings that I have just done. Uh, la last time I did it for uh, G plus, and this time I am going to check it out how it looks on Facebook. Should be I should be seeing the picture that I yeah there you go. That's that's the one I wanted. The name is correct, the description is correct, and I, when I share it, I am I am sure my friends are going to click on it. Hope you enjoyed this video.